Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about how to nurse an infant who has gastroesophageal reflux. Now, let's talk about gastroesophageal reflux and gastroesophageal reflux disease for a minute. First of all, it's important to know that almost all newborn infants have some degree of reflux. That means that the gastric contents wash back up from the stomach into the esophagus. That's actually normal in many cases. In fact, we're learning that that reflux may serve to distribute helpful probiotic bacteria into the airway and protect babies from certain infections by so doing. So that's normal. When do we call it gastroesophageal reflux disease? Well, that's when it seems to be out of control and causing problems. Maybe it's causing discomfort and excessive crying poor feeding, chronic nasal congestion, or cough and wheezing, even poor growth. In those cases, the reflux has gotten to be a problem, and we call it gastroesophageal reflux disease. When we have babies who have gastroesophageal reflux disease and are nursing, one of our tricks for treating gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, is not available to us. We can't thicken the feeds. In formula-fed babies, we recommend taking some rice cereal, putting it in the bottle, thickening the feeds, and then shrinking the size of the feed so that there's not so much in the stomach with every feed. You can't do that if the baby's nursing at the breast. You can't get rice cereal in there, so what are you going to do? Well, one thing you might do is shorten the feeds and put them a little bit closer together so that the baby's getting smaller quantities of fluid with each feed. You also want to keep the baby upright if you can, or at least in a semi-upright position, for at least a half hour or so after the feed. You want to avoid any pressure on the baby's abdomen or stomach. So if you have a sling or a carrier or a baby swing that pushes on the belly, Obviously, you want to keep them out of that. You're just going to squeeze those gastric contents right up into the uh, esophagus and maybe into the airway or the mouth. Now, when reflux is getting severe, if your infant is shooting vomit across the room, that is not normal. That may be a sign of really severe intestinal disease or a blockage where the stomach leads to the intestines called pyloric stenosis. So anytime that it's worsening, that your baby seems to be feeding poorly, not responding to you very well, not gaining weight appropriately, certainly you want to bring that to a doctor's attention because there is a lot that we can do to evaluate gastroesophageal reflux disease and to make it better whether your baby is formula feeding or nursing. Talking about nursing a baby who has gastroesophageal reflux disease, I'm Dr. David Hill.